I think that the education systems of the future need to be based around three concepts. So one is this idea of thinking anew. The second is doing better. And the third is an idea of taking care. Um, so for thinking anew, I think that means that we need to ensure that all of the students today become critical thinkers. So we live in a world in which we're surrounded by new media, um, environments that are controlled, private spaces that seem public. And I think we need to develop a new sort of ability to perceive that. In the, in the education of the future, kids need to learn to understand how the algorithms that shape their lives are working and who's designing them. I think they need to be able to evaluate sources to understand whether it's fake mm -hmm. or it might be real. How do we teach kids to have that new media literacy? And I think they also need a literacy in the tools of today. How do they learn to use their smartphones, not just for updating their social media status, but also to, to be put to a more creative purpose? Mm -hmm. And I think that I have some hope that if we think about our technologies in the right way, they can help us in that endeavor. But they also you know, risk um, yeah. They risk limiting human intelligence and making us more stupid. But in, in the domain of doing better, for me, that's all about creativity. Um, and there I met a wonderful guy called Mitch Resnick, who runs something called the Lifelong Kindergarten, um, which is a group uh, at the MIT Media Lab that's produced things like Lego Mindstorms mm -hmm. and Scratch, which is this online um, computer coding community, which now has 25 million kids worldwide using it. And he talks about the four Ps of creative learning. Mm -hmm. So he says, if you want to learn to do anything creatively, then you should, first of all, find your purpose in a particular area. That you need to find your purpose. Secondly, you should um, work on projects, real world projects that have some value in the real world. Thirdly, you should work with peers. So you should collaborate with others mm -hmm. um, who, who can help you on that particular project. And finally, the fourth concept is that you should find time to play. This idea that exploration, imagination, experimentation mm -hmm. is really fundamental to the learning of the future. And then the third idea that, that I think is really important is the idea that we take care. And by that, I mean that we need to grow our emotional intelligence, both so that we can be more resilient in a difficult world that we face and that we can strengthen our own well-being so we can be happier in the world. But perhaps even more than that, I think we need to strengthen our emotional intelligence so that we can learn to cooperate and collaborate to make the world a happier, healthier, safer place to live in. And I think we can prepare students to do that too. You know, like parents are really worried about uh, their children. We are, I'm a mother myself. Um, and uh, we often wonder what the future of our children will be. Now there's this uh, news that tell us that the future will be full of machines. Maybe human beings will not fit there. But there's also some other trends telling us that these skills you mentioned are going to be really important to adapt to this future indeed. Like, so to have a personal uh, background and uh, these competences or these skills to cooperate together or the creativity and so that will help us fit in this future world. What is your experience on that? Yeah, I think it's a really big question. So I think there are three dangerous ideas that we have in our minds about technology at the moment that could harm us a bit in the future. Mm -hmm. The first idea is that machines learn better than humans. The second dangerous idea is that everything should be user-friendly if possible. And the third idea is that we should automate anything that we can. And these are dangerous ideas that we have to counter. The human brains aren't at all like AIs. Human brains are organic and unruly, learning constantly in interaction with the environment, with our tools, but especially with other people. Mm -hmm. um, and our intelligence is, is sort of unlimited in that way. We're never not learning through all of our senses and so on. And so this idea that machines learn better than humans is incredibly dangerous. It's not true. Humans learn much better and much more um, holistically than machines ever will.